What's up? What's going on, Internet? It's me, Robert T. Garden. Another T. Garden quick tip tutorial. Just the tip. You, you know the deal so far. Today, I'm talking about a thing that has revolutionized my export time. As you guys know, as longtime viewers of this channel know, I am constantly looking for ways to be more efficient, and I'm always looking for hacks to do things faster. I shared with you guys the way to edit your 4K footage faster. We've also talked about a bunch of different audio tips to help you work with your audio a little bit faster. And this time we're going to be talking about exporting your finalized project in the fastest way possible in Adobe Premiere. I was stumbling around one day and I was working in After Effects and I realized that I'm always exporting in After Effects in the rendered queue. I have to export and render in their little media encoder. I went, why aren't I doing that in Premiere? And so I was up against a client deadline. I told them that I would have a product for them within the hour because I thought that's how long my export was gonna take. And so I pumped it into Media Encoder. I queued everything up. I did the export and 15 minutes later, I came back and the export had finished. So I started scratching my head and figuring, wait a minute, is this just a fluke or do other things export this fast as well? Started exporting my vlog episodes, all other client work, all went through Media Encoder and I would, instead of exporting right out of Premiere, I would queue it up into Media Encoder. Sometimes I would do as many as five different videos in the Media Encoder and export them in the same amount of time it would take me to do one video in Premiere. So this blew the doors open for me and I tried to figure out exactly why this is going on. I got a bunch of different mixed answers from all the guru editing people that I'm friends with, but what it basically came down to is this. You're using your GPU processor when you export through Media Encoder, which technically is faster and it's only dedicated RAM and processing speed for that particular type of activity. Instead of going into Premiere and doing it from Premiere, which then pings Media Encoder through the export and then punches it back into Premiere, which is extra processing speed, extra activity, and you're always locked into that Premiere session, you can't do anything else. So what this is doing is that it's offloading that type of work only into the Adobe Media Encoder, which is the same thing we used for our proxy workflow files when we did the fastest 4K editing version, the little video I did a couple weeks ago. It's the same environment, but instead of encoding proxy files and creating a 720 copy, it's encoding your export and making it happen a lot faster. Now, why would you want to do this? Um, a lot of people just say like, oh, I'll just do it in, in Premiere. And I will tell you that, sorry buddy, but that's kind of like an amateur attitude to be had here because if you're editing multiple pieces for a client, let's say you've got a client and they want one main video and three separate exported videos that are either for social or 15 second edit, 30 second edit. In those instances, why would you export each one of those individually when you can just fling them to Adobe Media Encoder, do things that way, and then you can export all of them at the same time and walk away. Better yet, you can get back to work in Premiere and do more things faster with less resources. It's just a no brainer. All right, let's hop into Premiere and I'll show you exactly what's going on. I got a session right here and I'm going to export, and you can either use Command M or Control M on your keyboard to bring up this export window. Once you've got all of your settings correct, what you're gonna do here, instead of clicking Export, you click Q. You're gonna wait around for just a little bit for the Adobe Media Encoder to load, but once it does, it's gonna pop up the file that you wanted to export, the project that you wanted to export, and all you're gonna do is click this little green play button right here, and once that happens, it's going to start to render that file and export it to the specific location that you wanted it to go to. Now, let me give you a couple of other tips. Like I said, I've alluded to this fact. Let's say you have multiple projects that you're working on. You have separate timelines within your project, and you wanna export them all. Now, instead of staying up all night long waiting for each individual file, file to end so that you can then export the other one, which is what I've done several different occasions like a dipshit. What I do now is I go into each individual sequence, I command M, I queue that into the media encoder. I do that however many times I need to for that particular project. I go into media encoder, I click play, that green play button, and guess what? It exports all of the things that are queued up within that queue 
and the next time I attack my computer, all of those files are done and rendered and I have manageable exports to give to the client or to put onto YouTube or to send to people in their iMessage. I don't know, whatever the hell you're doing with these things, this is a faster way to do this. It's way more efficient. It saves you a ton of time. It saves you a ton of resources. Here's another thing that you can also do as well. When you're using the Premiere export function, technically what's happening is that Premiere has not opened up Adobe Media Encoder, but it is accessing that program within Premiere. So part of the reason why it takes so much longer outside of the GPU processing time is that it's using Premiere to access Media Encoder and then going back into Adobe Premiere. That's not the most efficient use of resources, but it also locks down your Premiere program so that you can't do anything else in Premiere if a file is exporting. If you export using Adobe Media Encoder and queue them to the Media Encoder, you can still technically, if you have the processing power, go back into Premiere and keep working. I think that that is incredible and as a guy that is trying to be as efficient as possible with his time because time is everything and time is money, that makes me really happy. I like being able to work. I like being able to batch job things and let systems take care of it for me. That is working smarter and harder, which that's, that's really what we should be doing here. So. I hope I have convinced you that Adobe Media Encoder is the fastest way to export your projects when you're using Adobe Premiere or Adobe After Effects. Uh, sorry, Final Cut people. Uh, I used to be one of you, but uh, it just doesn't work uh, the same in that regard. But if you found this video useful, please give it a thumbs up. If you know anybody that might find it useful as well, please consider sharing it with them. If you haven't subscribed, I honestly don't know what you're doing. You should definitely have done that probably six months ago. And uh, I will see you guys in the next video. Thank you so much for watching. Bye-bye now. Bye-bye. Mm,